Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about black holes and find out do black holes live forever? So how long do black holes live? Do they live forever? Well, the answer is technically no. However, it's not quite that simple. Yes, in, in essence, all black holes will eventually disappear or what we call evaporate. So the problem is that some of them will live for a very long time. How long is that? Well, in many time, many cases, it could be many times the age of the universe. And we're not just talking about two, three, ten times the age of the universe. We could be talking about thousands, millions, billions of times the current age of the universe. So essentially, yeah, they live forever, especially a very large black hole. But also, technically, they will eventually, if you can wait a long enough time, then they would evaporate. So what we know about these is that this really how long they live depends on their size. And the smaller the black hole, the faster it will evaporate. So here we see an example of a black hole from the Event Horizon Telescope, where we can see the shadow of the black hole against the nucleus of the galaxy M87 in the nearby Virgo cluster of galaxies. So let's go ahead and look at how a black hole evaporates. So what happens here? Well, let's take our imaginary little black hole. And what might happen is that constantly within space, particles can be created. So you could take a particle and you can create take energy and create a particle and an antiparticle. And generally out in space, they will just combine back together. So from energy, they will become two particles. Those two particles will immediately annihilate each other, producing energy, and there's no net effect. However, if that happens near a black hole, it's quite possible that one of those could go inside the black hole and the other could go out. So this one escapes out. This one goes inside the black hole. So energy therefore, and mass have therefore escaped from the black hole. And that was what is what we call Hawking radiation after Stephen Hawking, who came up with this idea uh, a while ago, that black holes would eventually evaporate because of this process, because material would be essentially escaping from the black hole because of this process. The black hole is going to lose energy. If it's losing energy, it therefore loses mass and will eventually disappear. Now, what does that mean? Well, it would take a very long time for very small hole black holes. Let's take a look at these a uh, little chart here. And for a very small black hole, they wouldn't last very long. So something the size of the of a human would only last a few pico seconds. Uh, something here a little the size of a blue whale would have lasted about half a second. Something the size of the Great Pyramid would last hundreds of thousands of years. Now when we get up to Mount Everest size, anything that ever formed that was Mount Everest size still exists, because they would last 1 billion times the present age of the universe. And Mount Everest would be a minuscule black hole compared to many of the black holes that we look at. So something the size of a dwarf planet or the Earth, say the Earth one, 40 trillion octillion times the present age of the universe. And again, a black hole the size of the Earth is a minuscule black hole. So actually something the size of the sun turned into a black hole would last 10 to the 67th years. So I'm not going to write that out. That's a one followed by 67 zeros. Our universe is only about 10 to the 10th years old. And for each of those exponents, that's a factor of 10. So 10 to 11 is 10 times. 12 would be 100. To go to 13 would be 1,000. So you can imagine how much that is by the time you get up to 67 power. It is, you know, beyond, it essentially does live forever. Although if you want to sit around for 10 to the 67th years, yes, a solar mass black hole would eventually evaporate. However, something like the black hole that we looked at first, that one at the center of M87, which is many, many times the mass of the sun, billions of times the mass of our sun, that would last an even longer time. 
So you need to be around for a very, very, very long time to eventually see these black holes evaporate. So let's go ahead and finish up here with our summary. And what we've looked at here is uh, black holes do not live forever. Black holes will eventually evaporate. And the time for this depends on how massive the black hole was. However, for ordinary black holes, the ones that we see, this is many times the current age of the universe, meaning that for all intents and purposes, they do live forever. So that concludes this discussion on black holes and whether or not they live forever. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.